Good morning. Time to make the coffee. Chocolate raspberry this morning. High of 43 and it looks like it's going to be sunny. That'll be good for my winter sown little boxes, I hope. So we'll see how they grow. It was fun planting them anyway. So I took down yesterday's video and uploaded it again because <laughs> when I went to watch it I didn't realize that I had so much footage in there of me cleaning up the camera falling off the table. So anyway, the video today is a little shorter because I took all that out and then the part that I wanted in there I wasn't recording so anyway yesterday's video is put up again it really hasn't changed much I just took some of the footage out <clears throat> it happens I got distracted and uh, uploaded it before I did the final edit I usually edit as I go along on on the videos, but I didn't yesterday, so it wasn't my finest hour. I try to be mindful when I'm filming that I'm actually filming, and I don't have the camera on pause, but it does happen occasionally. So anyway, that's what happened with yesterday's video. So I still have some things I need to plant, but I need to get some more boxes. So uh, I don't know. I'll see if I'll do that today or just wait and do it on another day. So cheers. Yum. So I still have some work to do on my finance book. I'm procrastinating. I did print off some of the things that I need. I need to tally up the end of the month totals, see what I spent, see what I didn't spend. I feel like I'm still spending too much, but I really didn't buy a lot of things that, that weren't useful or that I didn't need. But I'm going to try and go through March. Now this is a try. Was it Yoda that said try not do? Anyway, I'm going to try and go through March without buying any more groceries. I didn't buy a whole lot last month. I think I spent maybe a hundred dollars if that much. But I have a lot of food in the freezer that I need to use up. So I'm going to be cooking down the freezer, but I'm not going to document all that. Uh, I'll document some of it and some of it I won't if it's not interesting. So all right, I'm going to go drink my coffee. My kitchen table's still a mess. No sense in cleaning it up until I'm done. Well, that's another reason why I should go get more boxes. But we'll see. Maybe I can find some I already have. All right, I'll be back in a little Good bit. Good morning. I'm back at it. Going to start some seeds. So I have these carnations that I'd like to start. And I have just here a little box from Dollar Tree and a paper towel. So what I'm going to do, I want to start flower seeds today. And I'm just going to cut this paper towel. I guess this is called the Petri dish method of starting seeds. So I just want to cut this to size. And then I'm going to dampen this paper towel. Okay, so I just have a spray bottle. You don't want this so wet that the seeds are going to rot, but you do want it 
all damp. And then I'm just going to take my seeds. Now these are very old seeds. They're from, oh it doesn't even say, but I've had these for a long time. I mean the cost was $1.99 so. And this is a perennial. So lately I've been starting my seeds this way because that way I can see, especially since I have a lot of old seeds, I can see which seeds are going to germinate and which seeds aren't. So the seeds are pretty tiny and I don't expect a lot of germination rate with these. But this way we'll see How well they germinate. And that's basically all there is to it. You want to keep them warm and then just seal the box up and you'll see which way they germinate. Now I'm not going to cover these with another paper towel. This is an experiment. I still have a few seeds left so I'll see if they'll germinate just like this. If they don't, then I'll plant another batch and put the paper towel on top. Um, because the little seed roots do get stuck in the paper towels. So I think this is enough for now. I'm going to label this and put the planting date in there. And that's it. So let me show you a um, couple of the other seeds I've done this way. Now I planted stevia on 226 and this morning I did notice when I looked and I don't think you'll be able to see this because the seeds are so tiny. Um, and these were seeds from a couple years ago as well. But they are starting to germinate and the stevia seeds are extremely hard to germinate. There's one right there. So, and there's one there and there. That one looks like it's going to germinate. So, I mean, it says right on the package that it's very hard to germinate. So I, I'll plant those in some soil and hopefully they'll grow because some of these plants, like stevia plants, the nursery plants, you know, you can spend five dollars on them easy. And the nice thing about this method is uh, usually seeds don't need a lot of light to germinate and you can stack them up. So um, I got these at the Dollar Tree a long time ago, but you can also use these. And these are very cheap. They're the sandwich size. You can get a bunch of them for hardly any money. So while I'm at it, let's just take a look at my uh, citrus here that I'm trying to sprout. Uh, these are my um, blood oranges. Nothing happening yet. And these are my Meyer lemons. I don't think there's anything happening there yet either, but it's going to take a couple weeks. So, and if, if you start to see mold, then just change out the paper towel. It's not a big deal, unless the seed gets totally moldy and then you want to throw it out. But there's nothing happening there yet either. So I'm going to put these back in and see what happens. All right, okay, I'm trying yeah, another easy, experiment. Easy. So here I planted one packet of uh, zinnia seeds from Dollar Tree. They're four for a dollar. And now I have another paper towel on here. I'm going to try and layer these because there aren't tons of zinnia seeds in here. This one actually has more in it. But um, 
I want to see if I can get these to germinate and then I'll plant them in pots and I'll probably end up planting them in the um, double pot where you take the soil and two solo cups, one with a hole in the bottom <clears throat> and the other one with uh, no hole. But first I want to see if this will work just by putting multiple layers in here. So we'll see. Another experiment. But I'm going to have to keep my eye on these so that the seeds uh, don't sprout and the little roots will get entangled with each other. So um, this is something that I'll have to keep an eye on. Now you don't want it to be so wet that the seeds are going to mold, but you do want to keep it damp. So we'll try it, see what happens. I mean, these seeds are four for a dollar, and if you buy a flat of zinnias, it's way more than that. So this would be enough zinnia flowers if they most of them sprout uh, for the whole uh, summer for me for 75 cents. So that would be worth it. All right. And since I'm going to keep an eye on these, that should be okay. All right, so I'm going to spray these, keep them damp, and put the top on. And this is actually chalkboard paint, so I can write on, write on there what they are. And this is just one of those little take-along boxes. So if this works, I think it save a lot of space. And these will germinate in five to ten days, so I can write that on there. Okay, so that works out well too. They germinate in five to ten days. I always put that on there so that I know when they start germinating to start keeping an eye on them. So, all right, there's that. And then I still want to plant some cosmos, some lavender, and some calendula. So, another experiment. We'll see how it works. And these are the cups that I like to plant in. Some of these I put holes in. And I used my soldering iron to do that real quick. So then this one doesn't have holes. You put your dirt in. You put your seedlings in. Double cup. And this method is really great, especially for tomatoes and peppers. So, okay. There we have okay, that. Well, I just planted some calendula. Put a paper towel on top because I want to plant some cosmos on top of that. See if that works. And the reason I'm planting all these seeds is because um, I want to attract pollinators to my garden. Because my zucchini never gets any zucchini on it. And so these are the cosmos seeds. They're kind of longish. So we'll see. But this way I don't have to buy so many nursery starts, which would be great. I think that would be just awesome. So all right, I'm going to dampen those a little bit. I don't want to drown the seeds below. But I do want to make sure it's damp enough in here because I don't want the bottom seeds to mold. But like I said, this is an experiment for me to try to grow the different kinds in one little container. That would be great. So I'm going to go ahead and label this and uh, 
what I'm doing. I'm just making a plant marker right away and then just putting it on top. Because I think I'll remember what's what. So there we go. We'll see. I started some petunias this way. Now those seeds are so tiny, I don't hold out a lot of hope for those transplanting well. But I also planted petunias in a winter sow box, so we'll see how those do. So I'll be planting uh, Cosmos, uh, Calendula, Petunias, Zinnias, and then the perennial mix. I think I might just plant those into the garden. I don't know. And the lavender I want to plant too. And then I want to plant my herbs yet, but I need to get more containers. So, all right, there we go. See if this works. I'll update when I look at them. Okay, and I just sprout. planted the perennials and I did two layers. I have no idea what's what in here. So if they come up, uh, the germination is 7 to 21 days. So as they come up, I'll just stick them in dirt. And if they don't, I'm out 25 cents. So either way, it's a fun thing to do. So that's the perennials, and then I'm still going to plant the lavender. And I think those are really tiny seeds too. So, all right. Okay, it's time to feed the starter. Now this one has a little bit of bubbles. But it's starting to form some hooch on top. I didn't feed either one of these yesterday. So I'm going to add, this is a combination of rye and wheat flour, 30 grams of each. So I'm going to add that. And then this is 60 grams of water. So we'll add that. And we'll see how this one turns out. The other one isn't really very active. In fact, it's just now starting to form a couple of bubbles. But I'm finding that making a starter with just regular flour of, uh, and by weight, like 50-50, quarter cup of water, quarter cup of flour, is much, much easier than doing it this way with the rye and the wheat and the water by weight. I'm finding that to be pretty cumbersome. So I'm just experimenting and seeing what I can come up with. All right, so that's that. I'm going to give this thing a nap now. and just cover it loosely. I just have a container like that just to keep the bugs out. And it's still kind of chilly in my kitchen so it's taking forever. And this one, there's a few bubbles starting to form, hardly any. But I think I'm just going to stir this one. I'm just going to use the same, doesn't matter and just give it a stir and let it sit until it gets more active and then I'll feed it. So what you want to look out for is mold or if it smells like really bad. But this is still fine, it's just very sluggish taking a long time to ferment and it smells just fine. So, I'm going to let that one ferment too, and we'll see what happens. Now I still have a little tiny bit of what I originally started with, 
and that was just flour and water and as you can see it's got a lot of hooch on top that means it's hungry so I think I might feed that one just some regular flour just to see what happens all right I'm just going to put this in a bowl Pour it all right back in. And then like I said, you can feed it whatever flour you want. But I think it'll be fun just to see if once I start baking this, which one does the best. Okay, and this guy's pretty hungry, so I'm going to go back to feeding it just a quarter cup of flour and a quarter cup of water. So this is just regular flour, and you can use metal in here as long as it's not a reactive metal, so stainless steel is okay. All right, there's that and a quarter cup of water. Now this is a 100% hydration starter, this one. And it's not very thick. And I may even, depending on if it gets a little action going, I may even feed this a second time today. I have to see what it's going to do, but this is pretty thin. So I think it's going to need more food than this. So probably half a cup would be good. But I'm going to see what it does. And I'll probably end up with a gallon of starter eventually. But I, I want to go with the method where you don't have to discard. Now in the beginning you always have to discard some. But for now, this is good. All right, well, there we go with the well, sourdough. It's been a busy day. I did lots of planting on paper towels and in bins and boxes, and <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to put all this stuff, if it all germinates, which it probably won't. But I still have a few more things to plant, but I think I'm going to stop for today. I planted flowers, um, vegetables, and of course now the next few days it's going to be going down to 28 at night. But from what I'm hearing or from what I learned that as long as it's just seeds in your boxes you should be alright. Um, if you already have little seedlings they might need extra protection if it gets that cold. So I don't know, trying it out new. So I still want to plant some tomatoes and I still want to plant some kohlrabi. I just planted my peppers, just different kinds. Um, red, orange, yellow, and purple. Green pepper isn't my favorite, so, and I'm hoping to get enough so that I can give my mom a couple because she likes to grow a couple peppers in, in a couple pots and give some to my daughter uh, because I really only need like maybe six pepper plants. That's plenty for me. Uh, maybe one or two of each color. And the tomatoes, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do those because I want to start those on paper towels too. But I have a lot of different ones and I do not want to be inundated with tomato plants again this year. Because again, with the tomatoes, <clears throat> I want to plant a variety, but I only want maybe one of each variety. So I'm plan planning on planting six tomato plants so I have to kind of pick and choose because I have a lot of seeds a lot of seeds <laughs> just tomatoes so and then I think 
these were a bomb last year, but people grow them all the time. These um, sugar baby watermelons. I want to try those again. Try growing them along the fence. And more tomatoes. I wanted to try different kinds. Some of them did okay. Uh, last year was not a good year for uh, tomatoes for me. Um, my garden was still under the shade until, oh, probably about September. So I'm hoping I have better luck this year. But we'll see. But the watermelon didn't do anything last year. I couldn't even get the vines to grow. So the kohlrabi did okay, but again, because it's it's sort of got a, um, a not a root, but I, I can't get anything like um, kohlrabi or beets or um, turnips, anything like that where you have like a bulb. I, I can't get them to form a bulb. I get lots of greens, and I heard that potentially the soil has too much nitrogen when that happens, so I, I'm going to have to adjust the soil where I plant those. But anyway, um, I still have a mess going here, but there's no point to putting it away if I just have to get it all out again. So I'm going to call it a day for today. Um, get ready and make some dinner. I'm just going to make something out of the freezer and call that good. And um, start off again tomorrow. Plant my tomatoes, my kohlrabi, and uh, my watermelon. So I still have time for the watermelon. I'll probably plant those when I plant squash and cucumbers because those germinate really fast. So I think I'm going to hold off maybe till the middle of March for those because our uh, first, our last frost date is like the second week in May. And I don't, I'm trying to avoid having a ton of plants. I could put them under grow lights, but um, I've had it before where I planted them early and it, it's just a lot of work. Um, I'm trying to avoid that this year, come up with a new strategy. So we'll see how it works. So alright my friends, that's all I have for you today. I want to wish you abundant blessings. Do something fun. I love you guys. God bless you. And I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. Thanks for watching.